chicken gnocchi soup um, since Missy and Brian talk about it so much on Daily Bumps I had been very curious about what it was like because I usually get the I think it's called Toscana or Zuppa Zuppa Toscana the one with the, the potatoes is the one I usually get which is also delicious but I tried the chicken gnocchi and yes it was very good um, so today we are on our way over to one of my friend's house, well, like friend acquaintance, um, to babysit her two boys. She has a two-year-old and a four-year-old. I um, babysit them twice a month while she goes to her doctor appointments. So it's a little early for me and Cal. It's eight o'clock. In fact, he didn't want to wake up, so I let him sleep while I got ready and um, got things in the car and everything. And um, he's in the car in his pajamas. And I will just uh, change him when I get there. <laughs> oh, whoops. Okay. Just totally turned the wrong way out of habit. on time. I ran. I left a little bit early. She lives really close to me. It's like less than five minute drive. It's pretty awesome. She's like halfway between our house and diaper junction. <laughs> so, um, so we're gonna, we're gonna watch the police. It, uh, it's usually about two hours. Um, and Cal has a fun time with them. He likes them. And usually we stay to play, but really. Usually we stay to play, but today we can't because we have a baby wearing play date that I would like to go to. We shall see if that's actually in the cards or not. But it's at my friend Caitlin's house. Um, I just got that new wrap in, so I kind of wanted to go take that and play with it. But if we don't make it to that, there is a baby wearing meeting tomorrow morning that I'm pretty sure we'll be able to make it to, so we'll figure it out. Sorry guys, I don't feel very interesting right now because I have not really had my coffee yet. <laughs> I hear the ambulance people actually pulled over this time. It's a miracle. Something about this area that I found kind of odd is a lot of people don't pull over for emergency vehicles at all. Like they'll just keep driving. They won't even slow down or anything. They just like just act like it's not there, which I think is really messed up. But people actually pulled over today. And that's all I got for you right now. Well, I'll talk to you later. Hi guys! Alright. So after I was done babysitting I went to a baby wearing play date and that was pretty fun. I was there for whew, kind of a long time. I got to talking with my friend Caitlin and that was fun. Um, got a little bit of 
ideas for a couple of new carries to do with our woven wrap that might work well for us uh, since Cal is a wiggler and a leaner. He definitely makes it a little challenging for me. But she did say that when he gets a little bit older, it'll probably be easier because he'll probably be more cooperative. So, and also, you know, we've only been doing it for about three months. So he still, you know, needs, not only do I need to like hone my skills and get better and faster at it, but he needs to get used to it. So I think it'll get easier and better as we go. And if, for, and if nothing else, um, it'll be a lot better for baby number two because <laughs> I will have a lot more practice under my belt and everything and to start off just having your baby be used to it uh, from the get-go I think would make a difference too but anyway we did some baby wearing we did some playing Cal had a good time and then he took a nap for a little bit in the kinder pack while I was talking with her um, and she sent me home with with uh, Lactation cookies, yay! They're really delicious. So, all in all, it's been a good day. It's almost three o'clock, so I'm heading home. Rock and roll. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Hi, Jake. Don't do that. No. Your cup is for drinking, not for splashing. Your cup is not for splashing, it's for drinking. You want to drink your water? You want to drink your water? I'm really glad you don't have milk in it right now. Gosh. You can drink it. Mmm. Oh. No. No. You bouncing? What? What? Can you say gentle? No, it's gentle. Gentle. <laughs> Says meow. <laughs> does the kitty say meow? Yeah. Yeah. What does the kitty say? Does the kitty say meow? Whoa. What about the doggy? Is that, <laughs> was that a doggy? Doggy. Doggy. Wow. What's the doggy say? Yeah. Does the doggy say rough, rough? Bah. That's right. Bah. Rough, rough. Yeah. <laughs> rough, oh. rough, 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 rough. Bah. Oh, be nice to the doggy. <laughs> Gentle hands. <laughs> Gentle hands. Gentle hands for the doggy. Gentle hands. Gentle. I'm going to go to the commissary. So we are getting low on groceries. Now, we don't do all of our shopping there. 
Uh, it just depends on uh, what's convenient and whatnot. Now, the closest base to us is not super far away. So, um, it's not like really inconvenient to go, but it's still kind of a little bit of a drive. Whereas we have a food line and a farm fresh like a couple blocks down the street from us. So, I do a lot of shopping at Farm Fresh as well. Not so much at Food Lion, because their prices are a little bit higher, and um, you need to have the car to get, get you know, the, the sale prices. Farm Fresh, it, the sale prices is the sale prices. There is no membership card, and they also double coupons, uh, up to a dollar. So you could have like a 99 cent off, and they'll take an extra 99 cent off, which is really great. It was better than um, what I had back in San Diego at Vons. So, I do a lot of shopping at Farm Fresh because they do have those good prices and also for every $10 you spend you get a coupon for one penny off of gas. Um, some of their locations have gas stations. Now I don't use those that much because the one by our house does not have a gas station so it's a little bit out of our way to go to the one that does and also for some reason I'm not sure why that gas station prices are not very good. So a lot of times the, the gas stations right on our street are like already 10 cents cheaper. So it's not usually a good deal. So it just depends. So most of the shopping though we do at the commissary. I go and make one big shopping trip once, sometimes twice a month, but generally once a month uh, and stock up on things because they do have lower overall prices. From time to time, sale prices at civilian grocery stores can be cheaper, uh, but then the commissary has sale prices too, and so it just depends. But all in all, like the things we get regularly that, you know, we'll always buy regardless of if it's on sale or if there's a coupon, I usually get those things at the commissary because that's the cheapest way to get those things. Uh, especially meat, because obviously you don't usually have coupons for those and not very often are they on sale either. So I get my meat at the commissary, some produce and other various things. Alright, so showed my ID, got in. Commissary is right by the entrance, which is nice. <laughs> this is the base we stayed at when we first got in the area and we got here at like midnight. We drove all over trying to find the Navy Lodge. We were so lost. I find that a lot of bases are kind of confusing and a lot of GPS's or GPS apps don't really have the information because it's what kind of secret. Um, so the GPS was like no help and we were <laughs> driving around in circles. It was kind of funny if it wasn't sad that it was the middle of the night and we were tired and really hungry. I was asleep. Now oh, he's waking up. Guys, it's warm in here. The weather's finally warm. It finally warmed up yesterday. It feels like it's been weeks and weeks since we've had an actually warm day. So I'm actually able to again dress Cal in his cute like shorts and you know rompers and things that are for warm weather. So I'm glad he'll get used out of those before he grows out of them. And you know, he's liked it that he can go run around and play outside a little bit more. I mean, I still let him go out a little bit when it was cooler as long as he had like a jacket and stuff on, but I do find myself more willing to have him be outside when it's warm than I don't have to worry about him getting too cold and also 
had a lot of rain the past week or two as well. And obviously he can't play in the rain, although he tried to that one day. It started raining very suddenly and he just stood there smiling, just froze, like wouldn't move. And Justin had to go run out there and grab him. I wonder what's going on over there. I'm thinking accident. I don't know, but that's like a lot of emergency vehicles. And look at all these idiots standing there in the friggin' intersection. Like, isn't it pretty clear that it's coned off and it's not clear to go? And people still, you know, instead of waiting their turn, tried to go. Now that they're in the way, like, jerks. That's something else they're really bad about doing here. Aside from not... Aside from most people not pulling over for emergency vehicles, a lot of people go on red lights or block intersections because I don't know why. They Thank you.